Hey guys, Derek here. Welcome back to the channel, or welcome for the first time. If you are new, we are back to watch another episode of Bridgerton. This is season three, episode four. It is the kind of pseudo mid-season finale, kind of, uh, and I'm very excited to see what happens. Last time, what happened last time? Colin was jealous as hell last time. He had his world shattered by the kiss that uh, him and Penelope shared uh, late at night, and he can't stop thinking about it ever since. He's having wet dreams about this girl. Um, and now he has to fight for her if he wants her, but he's got to grow a big set of balls if he wants to do it, you know? Uh, he's just too nervous. He's too afraid. He's a coward. Um, and I, I think he needs to step up. But before we jump into this episode, if you end up enjoying my reaction, please leave a like on the video. It means a lot to me. Uh, if you're new here or you find yourself coming back often, hit subscribe, ring the bell so you're notified when I upload. And then if you want to see the full uncut version of this reaction, consider supporting me on Patreon or joining YouTube memberships. You just sync up your own copy of the show and you can watch along with me. But other than that, let's jump into Season 3, Episode 4 of Bridgerton. Move more slowly. I must not rush as I am with child. You don't know that yet. Look, your sister has a corner. I have bought you a plant. Wow. Why her? She must have blackmailed him. Because she's nice. So often, my Penelope is sat at that window reading, and now here she is in the room, and we have you to thank for that. Is that so? Is there a reason you like that window so much? Is the settee particularly comfortable? <laughs> no, she can just uh, observe people. I have grown rather tired of it. And I'm very glad to be here with you. Okay, well, um, we're still choosing Colin, so deal with it. <laughs> Is there something you wished to discuss with me? Very yes, kind of mother. But it was purely a speculative question. I simply want the best for Francesca. Liar! You're a liar and you know it. Very well. You're a filthy, stinking liar, Colin. Filthy, stinking liar. Dearest, gentle reader, a question. What is the primary yeah, Colin, force that guides us along our path? Benny boy. I have come to call on you. Best of Bridgerton. I do not wish to be called on. And yet... Is it our minds? Ooh. She just wishes or she be railed. Is what she wishes. After their meeting at the Hawkins Ball, it seems the Queen's sparkler, Miss Francesca Bridgerton, may indeed be poised to become the new Marquis Samadani. She lavishes you with praise, Your Majesty. Damn, you can read that from you far away. You can read from all the way back there. <laughs> That's my thoughts. Lord Samadani may not choose to call upon me. There is a caller here. Yes, bring him in. Quiet boy, <laughs> bring in the quiet boy. Hell yeah. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. All day, son. Lord Samadani, welcome. That's the wrong one. Lord Kilmartin and I met briefly at the Hawkins Ball, but have not had the opportunity for a formal introduction. May I join you a moment? I should like that. Okay. It's the first time she's <laughs> seemed remotely interested in anything. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna just sit here. Not say a damn thing to you. She's loving it. <laughs> she does not speak to him. They're all so confused. Lord Samadani for Miss Francesca. Lady Bridgerton, good day. Good day, Lord Samadani. 
Mr. Bridgerton. Miss Bridgerton. And you must be Miss Hyacinth, I presume? It's cracking, Samadani. I do not believe we are known to each other, Lord... Kill Martin. But I was just leaving. I do not wish to interfere. Good day. Brother, you should interfere a little bit more. You must think only of Lord Deplin today. This book is on voyages to the north where Lord Deplin intends to travel. Well, let him tell you about it. Men love to explain the world to us. If we've already explained it to ourselves through reading, then they will feel superfluous and unmanned. She's not like 100% wrong there. There are a lot of men who would hate it. And they are weak. In truth, I find myself drawn back time and time again to stories of love. And what is it about those stories that interests you? Um, she can live vicariously through them. Are there any novels in which the man goes traveling for a very long time and his wife is happy to stay behind tending the estate? I suppose that would not be a book with much sentiment, would it? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, and it doesn't sound all that great to her. Because you'd just be gone. Perhaps they could both be very happy. A practical match. But a happy one. I like the sound of that. And how would you not I take her traveling with you? Fictional gentleman. Ask for the young lady's hand. If 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 you were writing the book, that is. Well, I suppose he would have to ask her mother. I see. And if her mother gave her blessing, do you think she would say yes? No. I think you would have to read the book. Way to not answer the question, Penelope. Oh, damn. Boobies right out in the open? Okay. He finds himself uninterested. I'm afraid my enthusiasm is elsewhere this evening. So you would prefer to watch? <laughs> He's realizing he has uh, desires for only one lady now. Miss Francesca, Lady Bridgerton. You left quite abruptly the other morning. Well, you had another caller. But not as cool as you. And so, are you stopping to speak with us just to be polite? <laughs> I believe you stopped me. <laughs> Awkward. Enjoyable music, yes? If I am being honest, no. The pace is too fickle. Just as you think you are starting to comprehend the melody, the song is over. A song like this would be far sweeter if it were played in three fourths and one could in fact feel the music. That is helpful. Uh, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna go pay that guy to play slower. <laughs> or not. He's just, he's dipping. To answer your question, no. I'm not interested in him. I think you are, though. Wow, that is a sad image right here. It is like a museum in here. It is calling hour, Miss Bridgerton. And I should like to call on Miss Cowper a moment, if that is allowed. Calling hour? So it's just like one hour of the day? I do not believe I've ever had a friend called to the house before. Truly? I cannot blame anyone. It's more like a mausoleum in here, isn't it? Yeah. You are not to be seen with that Bridgerton girl any longer. Do we have an understanding? Damn, dude, chill. He's kind of a dick. 
much to offer upstairs. And I do not mean her mind. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's becoming disenfranchised with the topics of conversation. I'm sure the girls of summer made your trip quite fulfilling. <laughs> <laughs> I did tell you my story of the Contessa, did I not? Uh, yes, but you did not give details. Well, a gentleman must keep some things to himself. Oh, come now. I do not see a gentleman amongst us. <laughs> no, I concur with you there. Damn. <laughs> it is tiring, is it not? Yes. The necessity imposed on us to remain cavalier about the one thing in life that holds genuine meaning. Do you not find it lonely? They're going to laugh at him. <laughs> of course they are. It is lonely. You're just left with this feeling of emptiness. Go away! Miss Featherington. You seem like a cool dude, but go away. <laughs> I don't like the way your beard looks on your face. Lord Debling has requested my permission to propose. Did you give it? Of, of course, course I did. yeah. Can you imagine the kind of influence that will give you? The kind of influence it will give all of us. Yeah, nah. Do not become greedy in your success. What more could you want? She wants Colin. Oh, do not tell me you're holding out for love. Oh. This is the very reason why I discourage you from reading. Love is make-believe. <laughs> you shouldn't read books. You'll believe in greater things. Oh, Colin, everyone is in the carriage. Are you not dressed? No. I wanted to tell you. I should like to stay home tonight. <laughs> the accusatory walk. You do not look well. Was it you I heard lumbering in the hallway late last night? I am... Well, I don't believe you. You have always been one of my most sensitive children, always aware of what others need, always trying to be helpful or offering a joke to lighten the mood. You so rarely put yourself first. Take what you want, brother. My head is bottle weary. Forgive me for lashing out. I should simply like to rest this evening. No. You shall not rest. Penelope is close to getting married. It is only a shame that you might miss the fruits of your labors. I hear Penelope may be getting a proposal tonight. Lady Featherington will not stop telling anyone who will listen. Tonight? Yeah, dude, you gotta step up quick. I do hope you feel better. Either nut up or shut up, buddy. You need to interject. Damn. What an artistic display. This lady's been brought back to life by an angel. What a weird ass hairdo. Perhaps this little love play will inspire my lovers tonight. Do you have a candle lit in your hair? That's crazy. There's some intimacy into that dance. Are you enjoying your evening? Oh, very much. I have not spent much time in Mayfair since the early days of my marriage. You guys need to kiss. Sometimes a fire is slow to burn. My own marriage was not a love match, and admittedly not very passionate in the beginning. <laughs> but I became very fond of her. We Hopefully she died. she died. Yeah, good. Now you're a single man, you can be with her. If you need to keep your distance from me a while, I understand. No, my father will have to endure it. Good. 
Brother, get off your ass. <laughs> it is time to go, Chief. You know she likes you. Damn, shawty. Sister. Busting out of that dress. Where's the quiet boy? Miss Francesca. Yes. Lord Kilmartin. He wrote a song for you. You must forgive me for rushing off abruptly last time we met. It is only that I wanted to get you this. What is it? I am not a man of many words. And the words I do have, I'm afraid they're not very good. But I do believe in the power of a gesture. Miss Francesca, I bought you some lemonade. Did he have that music uh, altered? Mama, I am keen to return home early, if that is all right. Let us find your brother and your sister first. Of course. She wants to go home so she can play that song. Lord Kilmartin. And feel what he wants her to feel. <laughs> she is not drinking the lemonade. She is not drinking the lemonade. Ow, you're giving me a pain in my chest. Oh, no. Uh, f forgive me? In fact, I have been tender all week. Oh, you're pregnant. My chest has been sore non-stop, and that is not dropsy of the pancreas. Mama said it is a clear pregnancy sign. You're both pregnants. Dual Pringles cans. <laughs> Am I pregnant? Do you imagine that with time, love may one day grow? To be honest, my work has such a large portion of my heart, it may be difficult to make more space. What a loser. <laughs> that is interesting, isn't it? No, I meant your brother is walking right up to Penelope and Lord Debling. Do you mind if I interrupt? Oh, I should only take a moment. Let's fucking go, Colin. It appears you two have something to resolve. I shall leave you to it. We shall return to this conversation another time. Yes? Uh -huh. Well... Lord Debling. Yeah, if they get together, that's fine. They would work together, because then she can have her own life God, you going to while he's off traveling. Well, perhaps that is for the best. What do you mean? Pen, you cannot marry him. You hardly know him. I know him well enough. I'm going to accept his proposal. No. Thank you for the dance, Miss Cowper. Colin, make your own proposal. Right now. Miss Featherington, why is it you sit at your drawing room window so often? I... All week I've watched you search for someone. I thought you might have had a falling out with Mr. Bridgerton. She's in love with him. But now I suspect you may have been searching for him for a very different reason. I... And speaking of Mr. Bridgerton and the feelings between the two of you. <laughs> Damn right. Colin Bridgerton would never, ever have feelings for me. It is laughable to think as much. We are friends. Nothing more. But would you like it to be more? I do not... Yes, she that would. Is not e that is not a possibility. I did not ask if it was a possibility. I asked if you would like it to be. Yes, say yes, admit it. Whatever it is you are searching for, I do hope you find it. Good evening. Yeah. What have you done? That is your question. Not am I well. Do I only matter to you if I have a Lord's engagement ring on my finger? Yes. <sighs> She's not a very good mother. Oh, perfect. Scenic spot to hunt her down. Kiss her on her dumb mouth. <sighs> Sprint after. Sprint, brother. Oh, yeah, 
uh, she's playing the sheet music. And when one chooses the heart she is over the smitten. Head, often all reason goes out of the window. Colin, yes. Penelope. I do not wish to speak with you. Please. Man, sprinted here. He's got to catch his breath. <laughs> Just a good 30 seconds of him just breathing hard. But it's the same house. It's literally the same what spot. Want? Just across the street. What business is that of yours? I need to know, did he propose? You cannot marry that man. He will leave you, and he is too particular, and he is, he is just not right for you, Ben. He did not propose. In fact, he rejected me because of you. Because the scene you caused led him to believe you had feelings for me. An idea is so preposterous, I do not know what to do besides laugh. Is it so preposterous? What if I did have feelings for you? What? These past few weeks have been full of confounding feelings. Feelings like a total... You rocked to his world, Penelope. About that kiss. A feeling that is like torture. But one which I cannot, will not, do not want to give up. Please. Don't give her hope. It is everything I have wanted to say to you for weeks. Call me a friend. Yeah, you can be friends and lovers. Yes, we can be both. Poor Canolo's dose. Forgive me. Um, I do not know what I was thinking. Kiss him. Kiss him on a stupid mouth. I very much like to be more than friends. Yes. yes. So much more. Yes. 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 Come on. Let's fucking go, boys. Fat dub in the chat. Fat dub in the chat. <laughs> Let's go. Their facial expressions are very interesting. <laughs> are we gonna bone in this carriage? Guys, those, the drapes are still open. Damn, girl. Get it, Penelope. Give me everything tonight. How far are we going in this carriage? The whole entire way? How did the women in the 1700s, 1800s shave their legs? She should have a forest down there. Okay, Colin. Colin's an experienced man. He knows what he's doing. Colin putting in work right now. Oh, Colin, Colin, we're at your house. Oh God. <laughs> Could the carriage driver not keep on driving? He can, yeah. Take another lap, brother. <laughs> <laughs> you think anyone saw us? Everybody. It's not paying much attention to anything. Just lines of people like, oh my god. <laughs> Let's go. Colin. Coming with me. What? 
Y your family will see me. For God's sake, Penelope Featherington, are you going to marry me or not? Oh, <laughs> you goddamn fucking right, Colin. Let's go, brother. Hell yeah. Damn, Colin. Tell him how it's gonna be. Yo, let's go, Colin. Finally, finally. I got, like, pretty hyped. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I didn't think it was gonna uh, progress to a marriage proposal immediately. Uh, I thought they were just gonna be, like, sec secret lovers. And then he was gonna be like, I'm gonna seriously pursue you now. But he's such an honorable dude. Because uh, I remember what, like season one uh, with Daphne and the Duke when they kissed in private it was like the honorable thing that um, that he had to like ask for her hand in marriage then so now Colin being the honorable guy he is um, he kisses Penelope uh, in the nighttime and you know he's like all right well I did that and now I have to do the honorable thing of marrying you <laughs> he's just so happy she's like they will see me. And he's like, well, are you gonna marry me or not, kid? Like, let's go. <laughs> like, you guys have been falling in love for your entire lives. And it took you far too long to realize you were meant for each other. So, Colin is not wasting another second, okay? He he wants you so freaking bad. Um, I did watch the, uh, there was a trailer that came on like right after. Um, about like the second batch of episodes next month though and I very much forgot the fact that <laughs> Colin's not a fan of Lady Whistledown right now and that seems to be a, a huge point of contention in the next set of episodes is the fact that she hasn't told him and Eloise is not thrilled she is like hey you're gonna tell him like Oh my god, that's gonna be, that's a such a big wrench in the works. I, like, he is gonna feel like he has been lied to. Because she's got some, she's got some issues with him. <laughs> she has, uh, she has done some bad things. Um, specifically with What's-Her-Face, the girl that I didn't like before. Um, I forgot, the girl from season one that I didn't like, uh, who tried to entrap him. Um, she kind of destroyed her life, and I don't think Colin was a big fan of it. I wonder if he's gonna he's gonna f have an issue with a lot of the things she's been saying if he finds out it's her, because it looks like Eloise has given her a deadline, um, and that is never gonna end well. <laughs> um, and then the Queen is trying to get her identity. This is gonna be some crazy stuff, some crazy stuff indeed. Um, but I was. <laughs> the whole episode I'm like Colin like nut up brother like you are in love with this girl just grow a pair of balls and tell her like she clearly is in love with you uh so much so that even Debling that Brando can see it like he knows um and and he cut things off because of, of course like why why would he want to be with her when she clearly loves someone else um, so it's like obvious to everybody else in the entire world that you guys are in love with each other. You just got to make the, the decision and take that step. Dude literally sprints to catch this carriage. <laughs> and then just, he professes his love. He's like, you're all I can think about. You're all I wanted to think about. Uh, now I'm going to finger you in this carriage. <laughs> and, and then we're going to get married. And it's going to be a grand old time. I actually weirdly think, uh, Cressida would be pretty good with that Debling dude because he's gonna travel for three years uh and like he doesn't necessarily need a love match with the person he's gonna be with and she mainly just wants to live her own life right like she just wants to be out of her parents thumb and that would be like a perfect situation for her and then she just like wouldn't you know she wouldn't have to do what her dad says anymore and she could focus on being a better person um there were some signs in this episode that she's not quite fully there yet though Eloise is trying to talk to her about some of her interests and she as soon as she sees 
that um, Debling is free. She's like, all right, bye. <laughs> I'm like, I'm gonna go talk to this man now. What else happened? Ooh, Franny, good old Francesca. She is just like absolutely smitten with this awkward boy. <laughs> <laughs> right, like they just, they don't fully know how to like talk to each other and like tell each other that they're interested, but he finds a way, right? She's like, she's like, this music is way too fast. It needs to be slowed down for then you can feel the emotions it wants you to feel. And he's like, oh, sick, I'll be right back. <laughs> like a couple days later, he comes with a rearranged sheet music to, to woo her and like, damn, this girl is just particular because that worked on her. I actually kind of like seeing them uh, like grow fond of each other. I think it's kind of cute. Uh, <laughs> and then who else had good days? Benedict had some good days. Um, him and what Tilly something, they're just lovers in the nighttime. You know, not, she's not looking to get married. I don't think he's looking to get married. Um, they're just kind of boning. And I don't know if she is going to be the one that eventually tames him and, and secures him long term or if it's going to be someone else but i like them together so far i think they're a lot of fun what else 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 i don't know so far i'm i'm actually really enjoying these first four episodes of this season i went into this um season not super looking forward to the colin and penelope love story because Colin to me just like wasn't that interesting, but I I found myself actually really being invested Because <laughs> I like I like Penelope and I want I want good things to happen to Penelope and I want Colin to be that good thing that happens to her because he you know As soon as he could could like pull his head out of his butt <laughs> Like then he becomes a more interesting guy, right? Like the first two seasons of the show he's just like so absent-minded and doesn't really pay her much attention and we don't really get a ton of scenes with Colin he's just kind of there um, so he didn't really have much of a personality uh, these episodes you actually get to know him a little bit more and like he has more of a personality you see him become more of an honorable man um, where he used to be kind of like a hound dog and I liked it I liked it quite a bit uh, to the point where, like, <laughs> when they're getting together at the end, I was actively hyped. <laughs> I was, like, dabbing. I think that's my go-to when I'm just, like, stoked about this stuff is just, like, dabs. <laughs> you know? Uh, you just gotta be, you gotta be awkward and fun with it. Because if I just, like, sat there and was like, yes, continue to finger her. <laughs> it would just be weird. It would be weird stuff. Um, so, Yeah. <laughs> But I'm, yeah, I'm pretty excited now for the, the second half of this season. And I'm bummed that I have to wait a month uh, to watch it. That's going to suck. But it is what it is, I guess. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I think that's all I have to say about these uh, first four episodes. Uh, I'm a big fan. Uh, I have been swayed. <laughs> but uh, definitely let me know what you guys thought down in the comments below. I'm very curious to see how you guys feel. Um, otherwise, if you enjoyed my reaction, please leave a like on the video. It means a lot to me. If you are new here or you find yourself coming back often, hit subscribe, ring the bell so you're notified when I upload. And then if you would like to see the full uncut version of this reaction, consider supporting me on Patreon or joining YouTube memberships. You just sync up your own copy of the show and you can watch along with me. But other than that, thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.